Good morning and welcome along. We're in Dusseldorf this week. We've come along to Euro CIS. It's the largest trade fair for retail technology. And this year, record attendance. More than 37 countries have sent exhibitors to come and showcase the latest innovation that's taking place within retail. Front and centre is Fujitsu. Retail is undergoing great change at the moment, isn't it? We embrace digital within our physical environments, but as we continue to move towards digital technologies, the threat of um, cyber comes into play. We need to look at how we detect and prevent fraud. With me to discuss this further, I've got uh, Ralph Schenker, Director of Retail and Hospitality for Fujitsu Germany. Claudia Ising, thank you for joining us. I know you're with the Fraud Prevention, Sales, Retail and Hospitality team here. God, that's a big business card, isn't it? Um, Let's jump straight in. Claudia, just how big a problem is fraud within retail right now? According to um, each EHI study from um, 2018, uh, retailers lose every year 1.3% of their revenue annually. From this inventory differences, the Post transactions cost 20.7 percentage each year. In numbers, this means per 100 million revenue, retailers lose 207,000 euro per year. And our Fujitsu fraud prevention solution can help to reduce these inventory differences. Ralph, when it, I mean, data is talked about a lot. I mean, it feels the last year GDPR yeah, was a key yeah, topic. Yeah. Facebook did their, their bit to highlight the, the problems with data, didn't they? What, what do retailers need to be concerned about with regards to their, their own data? Yeah, the, the point is that uh, um, um, uh, post transactions, which is basically the, what, uh, what we look at, uh, is um, tightly connected with personal data. You know? the, the name of the employee was uh, at the checkout, for instance. So, um, on the one side, you want to know the names who are doing fraud, but on the other side, there, are, there is a restriction by law uh, because it's our sensible personal data. So, um, and what the solution about it? Um, it is we encrypt uh, the personal data, and uh, the decryption is restricted to uh, certain persons like uh, HR or, or workers' council in the company. So. Uh, as long as they do not have evidence, they have uh, only encrypted numbers and do not see the name of an employee. About the technologies that are helping to, to, to deal with this, because it's, it's quite a, a key problem. I know, I, we don't want to scare chief officers who are watching this. And there isn't, I suppose, reason for them to be overtly worried because there are technologies which can help retailers mitigate risk, correct? Correct. Uh, well, for you to fraud prevention solution is based on SAP car on HANA. It's a very modern architecture for retailers and with this architecture they are prepared uh, for the future on the one hand and on the other hand they can um, analyze their huge data volumes very fast. Usually we speak about billions of post transactions every year. I, I obviously being a leading trade fair, you're probably gonna be hearing announcements throughout the day. There's also a delightful coffee machine next to me. So if you're hearing grinding going on right now, um, that, that's what it is, nothing untoward. I, Ralph, one of the things Fujitsu is great at, at helping chief officers understand are examples of the businesses who are, who are doing it well and uh, the kind of the, the yardstick for who people should be looking at. Have you got an example for us of, of somebody that's getting this right? Uh, yes, of course. Um, it, it seems to be that this is an, an ongoing threat. It's part of the business, basically, uh, to have fraud, uh, sadly. Um, but, um, and from the impact that Claudia told us, uh, it is justified that the revision department will look at uh, after the fraud uh, get the best tools they can uh, um, they can get. Yeah. So what what divides now the let's say the standard case uh, to the more uh, advanced uh, retailers? It's about working with us on 
new cases, not taking only the standard analytics which we have and, and, and a great wealth, but, but uh, to work on the new things on AI, for instance, which we start now to implement in, in future releases of uh, uh, fraud detection. I guess if anyone's got any questions on this topic, it's, it's, it's key to where retail is going. Do drop us a line um, via any of our social channels and we will connect you up with, with, with Claudia and Ralph. There's plenty more interviews to come from EuroCIS. We're actually doing around about eight interviews over the course of the event and they'll be going on to all the social feeds. So if you want to follow the content, just go on over to the um, Fujitsu Twitter or Facebook page and you'll be able to see all the content. Look at that, timing's perfect as always. Yeah. Thank you very much for the round of applause. Yeah. Thanks for watching.